travel. Absolutely new bloodline to, you know, add to it. Exactly. And, you know, he's a grandson of Better's Delight, so people need to uh, remember <laughs> that aspect of it as well. And his, his offspring looked that way. Yes, absolutely. And this year, first crop of Catch the Fire. I loved watching Catch the Fire race. I'm so excited to see his babies on the racetrack. I'm really excited for his first crop as well. They ended up in the right hands. He was... Uh, uh, at the Ohio Select Sale, Seaside was first, uh, Lather Up was, er, uh, Catch Fire was second, Lather Up was third in av er, average uh, prices, and he was very well received. He had the sale topper at 225000 um, His babies are all uniformly correct, and uh, I can't be, couldn't be more happy with the, the way they look as individuals right now and uh, look forward to seeing his first crop on the track. Oh. And there's quite a few of them represented here at uh, the sale uh, next Friday night uh, is when they feature a lot of the Ohio breads. And so there's lather ups and seasides and catch of fires and there's a whole different array of uh, Ohio breads that'll be represented here that night. Overall, a good uh, Ohio sale for you? Oh, it was a phenomenal Ohio sale for the state of Ohio. I don't like to talk individually when it comes to when we all represent uh, the state and all of us farms, we all get along pretty well. And from top to bottom, we had a great uh, uh, sale catalog. Um, we actually were 11% up and had the highest uh, gross than we ever had uh, at that select sale, selling 270, I believe it was. And uh, Ohio's on the rise and we continue to rise. We've been saying that for a few years, but every year we're getting a little bit better a little bit better, better mares are coming into the state, better stallions are coming into the state, and uh, Ohio's gonna be a force to be reckoned with for a while, and everybody needs to come down and next Friday and take a look at the uh, catalog for Friday night because there's tons of opportunity. In the state of Ohio, if you look at the top performers and the top individuals and in earnings uh, throughout the nation, uh, there's three or four in the top 10 to 15 in every category, so it shows that they race for a lot of money. Absolutely, and speaking of Ohio, co-owner on Ants Marching, he put up a big effort on Sciota on the uh, championship night. He's Indigo today, a, a fun horse to be involved with. He is a fun horse. We sold him as a yearling and then had the opportunity late in his two-year-old year to get back in, and so my uncle and I uh, took a little piece of him and uh, being represented, or being a part of it with Howard Taylor and Nancy. Nancy does a great job with him, and uh, he's, he's one of my favorite horses because he's just, He's all go, no woe to him, really. <laughs> and the, uh, he's named after my favorite Dave Matthews band song. So, And his full brother is selling uh, hip number 887 uh, <laughs> Friday night, and his name is Space Between. He is a cool little horse, and we want to congratulate